He's I don't number know. six or seven. But regardless, he's on there. Yeah, he's, he's on top he's ten. A, yeah, they're both top ten in the New Jersey PR. Sitting down though, we have some out of state invaders in uh, Ryuga and Samsora. Samsora Sam being the peach main uh, from uh, Louisiana, I believe. Mm -hmm. Repping the Saints shirts. Shout out to the Saints. That's actually my favorite football team. Samsora putting his name on the map when he took that set off of Ally. Um, yeah, man. And, uh, you know, he's continued to make strides. He's definitely uh, one of the people you mentioned when you talk about uh, some of the best beaches that we have around here. You know, guys like Key and Umeki and all those guys come to mind. But Samsora definitely, uh, you know, putting work in as I'd say he's the best American beach. Yeah. And Ryuga, uh, formerly an Ike main, now uh, rocking Corrin coming through from the Midwest, Michigan coming. I don't know if he's uh, from Michigan specifically, mm -hmm. but uh, I do know they do hail from the Midwest. You know, good player from that region. Switching from one Fire Emblem character to the next. I mean, hey, man. <laughs> Corrin's really, really good. Yeah, really good. You know, got that instant side B action that's probably going to come into play greatly in doubles. Projectile, great hitboxes. Phenomenal combo game. Has a it counter surge, which will actually proc even more often because it's doubles with the chaotic nature of that set. And invincibility under recovery. So you can't edge guard this character unless you do very specific things, uh, you know, to hit it on top of it or whatever. So you know, it's a, it's going to be a pretty interesting team. It's definitely going to prove useful. I'm excited to watch it. Uh, Corn and Peach. Now let's talk about uh, James for a little bit here. Uh, yeah, James plays a uh, variety of characters. Um, Formerly just a solo Luigi main, but has since picked up Cloud and has since picked up Diddy Kong over the summer. I do know about the Diddy Kong that he picked up. So I've yet to see it, but I heard about it. I'm actually curious to how much um <laughs> James just waved at <laughs> He sees the camera just pointing in his face. He just wants to <laughs> say hello to the fans. <laughs> I can't take him seriously. Um, but if I know James and teams, he's probably going to go Cloud or Diddy. Um, Luigi uh, can be a good pick of teams, but it's really very, very situational. Or Okay. Okay, so I guess he is going Luigi. Luigi, I mean, it is doubles, yeah. so he can get away with a little bit more stuff here. And Gons is going to go Ness, you know. Of course, the Ness. classic. I actually don't even know if he plays any other characters, but if he does, I don't know about I've him. never seen him play anyone but Ness myself, personally. This will be an interesting matchup we got here. Peach and Corn Actually, versus that's Luigi Daisy. and Ness. Um, you're right. Just saying. No, you're right. You're right. I mean, what does the name say, though, at the victory screen? Uh, ach. Because <laughs> the hand's in the way. God. <sighs> Koopa. All righty. <laughs> So we're, I think they're discussing stages here now. Uh, they seem to be talking to Swore about the rule set. I'm not sure what they're discussing. Still recording though. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. of, course, of course, of course. Yeah, I'm just kind of like peeping to see what's going on. Curious to see what the, uh, the stage choice is going to be here. Probably going to go to Smashville. Okay, like, now it's Peach. There you go. There Daisy you go. took the day off. Oh, I think they were talking about colors. Because they were going to peach color, and maybe that thought that was gonna I don't know. mess with someone's my, head. My thing is, if, if your character alts are matching, then I don't care what you're what color you're using. Like if you're using the blue color, but you're like you know, your colors are at least matching. Like yeah. if you're picking the yellow color for whatever. Anyway, we're gonna get into this match right here. The Great Gonzalez and DMG James going to win the Samsora and Pulse Gaming Ryuga. One thing, uh, one thing I love about James's Luigi is he definitely, he's one that fishes for the up B a little bit, but he's like really good at getting it. Oh god, and Gonzalez. Oh my god, no, Greg Gonzalez, like, I'm not sure, did he just, I think did he messed up or did he get gimped? I, I, think I was might have just lost, yeah, I think he might have just screwed up, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. So here's the thing about Gonzalez, Gonzalez isn't going to do anything flashy, but he's going to do the stuff that works, and you will fall for it. You don't think he's going to do up B as a recovery at the ledge. You don't think he's going to down smash twice <laughs> after missing the first one. But he's going to do it. You're going to get hit by it, and it's going to do really, really well. So, And Sam's is definitely going to play super patient, super technical. He's going to get in there, try to poke you as much as he can, try to get you out of your shield, wait for you to commit to a shield option before trying to rack on some more damage. As I, like, I love watching his Peach. Yeah, Peach is an interesting character in, in a team setting, at least. She is a, first of all, she's a tank. Um, yes. You know, she might be a little bit floaty, but just she lives forever. Unless you do a dash attack on safely on shield, then you're gonna get back to her for it. So, Off the edge of the stage, yeah. no doubt. So I'm actually looking to see Samsora, you know, be, uh, you know, the anchor here. You know, be the one that hangs on to these stocks. And Ryuga, you know, has all the range in the world with Korin. Uh, and against a character like Ness, uh, who, you know, struggles against characters that can box him out. 
we see James trying to go off stage, trying to go for a down beacon against Corrin, and I'm not. That's another SD. Every, yeah, like, everybody's. I, I think everyone just got the jitters. I mean, there is a giant crowd behind you, and you're on stream. I don't know if that's like affecting them or not. Spaghetti but. everywhere, man. But uh, that forward air is going to catch the jump from the ledge. That up air is going to catch uh, James. So two quick stocks for both teams. And uh, the red team holding on to a stock lead right now. I definitely see Ryuga t uh, taking point in the team. Like, Samsor is the one that's chilling back, waits for Ryuga to make the first move as he tries to approach with neutral air a lot, trying to rack up some a lot of combos as he keeps away James and Gon Gonzalez. On the left side of the stage. Wow, Gonzalez kind of, you know, stuck out in left field right there for James to have to defend for himself. Doing not a bad job about it. A lot of battling on the side of the stage right now. Red team having all the control. Uh, but Green team finally able to find a crack in the armor. The back air will not do it. Good D either from Ryuga. Ryuga manages to get back onto the stage pretty easily as he runs away. Stays on the center stage and lets Sam Sora take the lead. Tries, she tries to go for that golf swing. Yeah, four man. Right. Great punish. And catching Luigi, you know, using the down B with the ending lag. Oh, the catches him with that forward smash, that tilting really downwards. Nice. Oh, but a fortunate friendly fire right there. So, if, you know, if the green team can take the stock off of Ryuga, this is definitely doable for them. But James has to stay alive here. Gonzalez is going to be forced to be the, uh, you know, the lead. The up smash oh, will do it. Catches that spot dodge. Waits oh! For nice pickup coming from Ryuga, knowing that James is going to be up there. He tried to catch Gonzalez with that too, but Gonzalez DI just slightly away from it. And Ryuga uh, just falling down from the, the respawn platform. Uh, you know, there's really nothing James could have done there in regards to a punish. He was already in so much hit stun because of the up B. Oh, right, this so pressure coming from Red Team. Like they're just covering all angles, not letting Gonzalez touch the ground whatsoever. That was such good positioning. As you saw there, we saw Sam Storm on the left side of the platform, covering in case he wanted to roll left or approach left. And then you had. Re re oh, it. Oh, sorry about that, guys. The stream was down for a bit, and now we're back up. Uh, but, oh, as I was saying, Ryuga caught him with the side B yep. on the right side of the platform, and they sent him to the left side of the stage, and that was it. Yeah, man. Again, uh, the big hitboxes of Korin and Peach's ability to just be able to follow up with anything, you know, being able to follow up off of those three hits because uh, her, her aerial mobility is uh, good with stuff like float, and she has some long reach of her own. So now we got a counter pick coming from Green Team. Now hopefully Gonzalez doesn't uh, spaghetti in the first three seconds of the match right now. Yeah, that was super unfortunate. Like in the very beginning, he just uses an up B and then immediately dies. Like within like the first ten seconds. Here. So what do you think of the counter pick here, Wilson? Town and City. I feel like it's going to benefit them greatly if they want to like try to get some early kills. Because one thing I noticed in that last game is that Sam Sora, besides the one time where they got that really early kill, he was kind of living a little bit. So maybe the smaller blast zones will help them out a little bit. And also they were getting gimped a lot, so the blast zones were not really affecting them. They have a lot more platforms to play with. Luigi's able to jump from platform to platform, and then it also becomes like an FD stage, something that like Ness can benefit from. Dynamic platforms. Yeah, uh, dynamic platforms. That's a great way of putting it. Ooh, down air too fair, gonna connect right there. I still don't think that move should connect like that, but hey, you know, what do I know? <laughs> Peach is just such a, she's a fun character to watch, but I know this, if the second I try to pick up this character, my hands are gonna be screaming. Yeah, one thing I noticed that's different for Peach, uh, for Peach in general in this game compared to past iterations of Smash is that she doesn't really go for turn up that often. Because turn up's not uh, as useful. I mean, it's always nice to have a projectile when you need it, Yeah, but she doesn't really need it because uh, Peach's biggest problem uh, you know, in the last iteration of Smash specifically, is that she could combo you to death, but she couldn't kill. Sam Sora going mad deep. I guess he forward air Gonzalez, but he saved his double jump to get back onto the stage. Great team oh. recovery, and Gonzalez gets a pickup while, while he's at it. Getting that grab into back throw. Great stuff coming from Green Team. Yeah, phenomenal reversal right there. Almost gets the gimp, but he's going to get smacked in the face for it anyway with the forward smash. A grand slam coming from Sam Sora wow. as he sends him off stage. Green Team but losing both Oh my god! We have a terrible footstool. <laughs> but loss, but great recovery. Oh my god! What just happened? Whoa! He just killed with the up beat. He still died, but he got Ryuga with it as well. That was like a three stock exchange right there. And Sam Sora gets back onto the stage like nothing happened. Have you ever wondered what like the Smash iteration, like the Smash equivalent of a mosh pit at a punk concert looked like? That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> they were chilling out to Sigurbush Symphony or something. <laughs> See, Greg is always trying to catch that <laughs> back here. But they, you see him hitting him with the umbrella? Peach's with umbrella is, hitbox? A, is, is a tank. Like, good up smash right there. And again, the red team just dominating in all terms of stage positioning right now. Not even worrying about James. Here we see uh, Ryuga racking up a little bit of damage on okay. Gonzalez. Easy air dodge. James trying to pick up, gets the combustion that he needs to get back onto the stage. Misfire. 
All right, there we go. James is going to get back again safely. Gonzalez's oh. shield looking pretty uh, minuscule right now. Wow. James's punish game this, ga this game is on point. He's just catching every little thing and pu oh. uh, punishing it to the maximum capability. And as I say that, he does get hit off stage. And but Gonzalez sitting at 105 right now. Gets a character that can go deep and edge guard him. Ooh, Samsor was going greedy for that kill. If Samsor would have gotten that Gimp, though, it would have been totally worth it because it would yeah. have had three stocks to one. That's what I mean, man. Both these characters can uh, edge guard Ness incredibly well. Uh, you know, Ryuga hasn't done uh, you know, the very obvious edge guard, which is a drop down and counter whenever Ness up is. Uh, and not going to be enough to kill. It just said it looked like it did, but oh, oh catches him with the side beam. Once again, we have a James on the one v two, trying to get a gimp with that forward error, but just uh, wasn't managed to get it. As he tries to rack up a little bit of damage on Sam Sora, where you trying to cover his teammate, but then James starts mixing it up. And this is one thing that he's going to be doing in this one v two. He's going to be mixing up who he's going to go after between each teammate. Oh, I saw. Oh, and he wow, doesn't catch him it. with the up beat. That was a good placement of the toad trying to catch the misfire if in case it would have happened because that would have spelled James's death. But then with Ryuga's covering the, the ledge himself, he was able to get the edge guard and they take it 2-0.